At a time when the role of art and aesthetics was undefined in Germany, there was an issue at hand that required immediate attention. The invasion of Germany by French forces towards the end of the 18th century carried with it an invasion of German art. French occupying forces spirited off German objects of art to enhance France's glory. The French Revolution was a wake-up call for the Germans. They needed a way to start showing more pride in their art and creating a means to protect it. Around 1790, officials considered that the construction of a museum would be the ideal solution for the protection of their royal art collection and ultimately a culture. But due to struggles with Napoleon Bonaparte, the project was delayed until the year 1822, which would see Carl Friedrich Schinkel as the designer of the art museum. Construction took place between 1823 and 1830, and the museum was placed on Museum Island in Berlin, Germany, bordering a garden. Schinkel's goal with the design was to create a facade that complemented the context of the powerful site while maintaining a humble yet proud interior that welcomed the public. His thoughts related to the idea that art went far beyond just a showcase of royal power and was a gift to be shared with everyone. There needed to be a balance in his design. In order to create a sense of power on the outside, Schinkel located the museum on axis with the palace and adjacent to the cathedral and arsenal. The location would satisfy the original request for the museum while the interior celebrated the independence of art. As a result, the interior would reduce art's association with power and royalty. The Alt Museum pays tribute to Greek architecture on the outside with its heavy use of columns and a temple-like structure. This building was the first in Berlin to use Greek architecture. Again, Schinkel aimed at connecting the facade with the landscape and referencing royalty only to make a contrasting statement in the interior. Schinkel believed that art had a strong connection with religion and that art itself could be considered a religion. To manifest this idea, he relied on traditional religious architecture to define the interior of the Alt Museum. The rotunda within is a direct reference to the Pantheon. Schinkel believed that this central structure would create a mood within people that hinted towards the overall purpose of the building. As people moved from the atrium to the depths of the museum, the experience should remove visitors from any ties to social class and instead offer a personal experience. To experience art for what it truly is was Schinkel's fault.